And Title 42 is not an immigration measure. It's a public health measure um, and one that Congress has given the CDC authority to make a decision about. And we respect that and think that's, that's absolutely right. I mean, this is a decision made by the CDC. It's a public health decision. Uh, it's not one that should be uh, wrapped up, of course, in politics. Uh, and the decisions made by the CDC is, is where it should be long uh, as it relates to Title 42. And on Title 42, um, you said over the weekend that um, the administration agrees more needs to be done, the immigration system is broken. This was in response to a question about sure. Democrats who don't want to lift it right now. Um, you invited Republicans to work with the White House to get something done on immigration, but has the White House actually reached out to any Republicans to try to move this forward recently? It has been a long-standing open invitation. Uh, any Republican who wants to work with us on immigration reform, you're invited. Let's have a conversation. We have not seen uh, an expression of that interest uh, across the board. So you're, you're wanting Republicans to go to you. The White House is not reaching out then to any. We have conversations with Democrats and Republicans all the time, Jackie, but I think it's clear what we're seeing from Republicans is an effort to politicize this and not fix what we all recognize as an outdated and broken system. And we will continue to take additional steps to implement um, and make clear uh, that this is not the time to come, that there are um, there will still be significant measures put in place for anyone who tries to irregu irregularly migrate to the United States. They have apprehended more than 200,000 migrants so far. They've arrested more than 11,000, including cartel members, drug smugglers, and cop killers. And of course, they have seized more fentanyl that is enough to kill every man, woman, and child in Texas. And Texas, unlike any state in the history of our country, we have already begun to build our own border wall, securing our state and securing our country. But with the ending of Title 42 expulsions, more must be done. We just concluded a meeting in another region along the border where we met with uh, more than two dozen local officials uh, who represent either cities or counties on the border. And i got to tell you, they are angry and upset about all of the catastrophes caused by the Biden open border policies, and, and they are urgently asking for action, obviously from the state of Texas, but they know that it's the Biden administration that caused this open border problem, and they expect the Biden administration to step up and respond and to fix the open border problem that they've caused. So the Biden administration's open border policies have led to a record number of illegal immigrants crossing the border into the United States.